Good morning, angels. Good morning, Charlie. Hi, angels. I'm going like doing some makeup. I just watched the Victoria's Secret um, 2024 fashion show, so I'm feeling inspired. Um, I really want to do like a cool tone 90s supermodel look. Um, so I'm going to be going in with like some grays today or just like 90s, you know, black diva. I'm going to put some samples up on the screen and we're just gonna get into it um i already did my brows my brows are huge right now y'all but honestly i'd rather have thick ass brows than no brows period okay um so yeah let's just hop right in i've already done my skincare and prep like that um in the bathroom so going in with my one size oil sucker primer first i just take a little bit of that and i take it oh why does it feel grainy mm. I take it in the areas I get oily in, which is really just my T-zone. So around my nose, center of my forehead. And y'all, this is literally my favorite primer right now. Since it came out, it's so bomb. If y'all remember the Becca um, primer, the matte primer, mattifying primer, this is like 10 times better. Like it actually works and it works forever. Like. I feel like the Becca one didn't last that long, but it was still good. But this one lasts me all night long. Okay, and then for the outer portions of my face, I'm gonna go in with my Milk Hydro Grip Primer. Try not to um, get these too close together because it will start to like roll and separate. Y'all can see it like started to get like white. Um, so yeah, that's the, that's the primer doing its big one. I really just got back into color correcting not too long ago. So I'm taking the NYX, what is this, Pro Fix Stick, um, the orange one. And I'm just gonna take that up under my eyes, just a little bit, and then around my mouth for the discoloration. I'm gonna go ahead and take um, some setting powder. And I'm just gonna set my primer and really just all over my face. This like helps with oil too. This is probably like unnecessary, but I just like, I like my makeup to be set, okay? Before and after application. This will also help so that your um, color correcting, like the products you use don't start to blend in with the foundation. And like turn it orange or whatever other color correcting color you use the green the purple blah 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 y'all i'm using my good and faithful um house labs foundation going on two years strong baby love her down this is a brand new bottle lady gaga did her big one that's all i got to say this is my favorite foundation ever 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 ever, ever. i start with like two or three pumps and then I just apply more as needed, cause baby, you can always add more, okay? But it is very hard to take away. Going in with the Juvia's Place Peach Rose Liquid Blush. I love these blushes. These just will last you a lifetime cause that's all you need, okay? All you need, that little dot. Okay, for concealer, been loving the hourglass. Like my base routine has been the same pretty much for an entire year now. Um, but I'm going in with Umber um, from Hourglass. This is like super close to my shade, if not exact. So I just use this to conceal. And then the next shade will be to highlight and brighten. I go down my nose because the foundation is like medium coverage so your skin will still peek through it's literally to conceal any darkness go over that um color corrector 
before I lay my next shade down. Now I used to layer three concealers, so I would layer a skin tone one like this, and then I would layer a little bit more of like a brightening one, and then I would go in with a super bright one. I don't do that anymore because I just feel like less is more. So I'm going straight in with the bright, okay? It'll it'll blend out. Like if you got a good concealer, if you got a good routine, it's gonna blend out. So just trust your judgment. Um, so I'm going in with Sepia. This is from Hourglass 2. This is the mini though, because I wasn't sure if I was gonna like the shade or not, but I do need to go and get the full size. Um, so yeah, I'm going in with my brightest shade. She is very bright, but I like a bright under eye. That. And I'll just keep that towards the center of my face. And then I'm just going to lightly type, try to blend out the edges because I do want to let this sit for a second so that it gets more tacky and full coverage. So I'm going to just blend out the edges for right now. And Hourglass just like blends seamlessly as you can see. It's definitely pricey but it's worth the money and if you are like me and you do your makeup like once a month type stuff, I recommend it. I forgot to mention my lenses. Um, I literally love these lenses. These are literally my favorite lenses right now. They are from Pinky Paradise. I'm not sure of the name. I'll probably put it in the description box because I got two, but they didn't come like actually labeled. So I literally will have to go and look at the contacts to see which one is which. I'm gonna blend out um, the concealer towards my eye with my sponge, just tapping really, really lightly. I have a really light hand because I just wanna blend it. I don't wanna move it, I don't wanna, I don't want it to leave. And yeah, my sponge is dry, I always use a dry beauty blender. Like that. I'm gonna go ahead and set. I'm using the Ben Eye um, Cameo powder. Look at that! Just oh, gorgeous, 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 gorgeous girls. And then I'm gonna set between my brows. And I'm gonna set down my nose. That same one. Okay, what is this? Um, my mineral last skin finish. Okay, period. Okay, next I'm gonna go with some bronzer. So I'm going in with the MAC um, Rich Rosy so pretty their bronzer this is like if you like um mocha mommy you'll like this but i feel like it's just like a little bit less harsh than mocha mommy i think mocha mommy from um fenty is like a little too harsh for me this is perfect Going in with the um, Beauty Bakery Snackaroons blush. Beauty ba Bakery, I think they just went out of business or sold the business or something like that. She's super pretty. I really want to try the um, House Labs one. It's like I think it's like a it's like a dragon fruit color. It's like red. I don't know, like fuchsia pink. I'm going to just carve my face out. So taking my sponge. And I try to just follow my natural shape of my face. When with Ben Eye 
um, colorless powder. It's literally like just a straight up white powder. And I'm going to take my powder puff to go in with this. Don't ask me why I do this. I don't know. I just, I feel, I feel, okay, like it does something. with the Mario what is this master mats the neutrals palette I've had this palette for a while because I knew I wanted to start doing some cool tone looks but just never used it those are just swatches oh yeah that was actually perfect you know I'm just trying to catch a vibe Okay, so I finished most of my eyes. So I just did my liner, I did my waterline, and then I just dusted that same inner corner shade up under my lash line. Um, so we're gonna go on my lip. So I am going for like a super pretty pink, glittery pink. Um, so I'm gonna start with my Nika K um, Tiramisu liner. This is my favorite liner, y'all, out of this world. Like I have 10 of them in my drawer right now. Love this liner down. And then I'm gonna go in with NYX Line Out Loud in the shade Too Blessed. This one is more um, cool tone. So I'm just going on top of it so it don't come out too warm. Then I'm gonna go in with a Revlon Make It Pink. This is my favorite lipstick. Okay, then I'm going in with the Dior Lip Maximizer. This is the shade, it's 063. I don't know if that has a name. It's just like pretty lilac, baby pinkish, you know. I'm gonna go in, this is Queen Cosmetics Astral Projection. Literally the craziest gloss ever. I'm just gonna go in, in the center. Going with a little bit more not blush but we're gonna go in with a blush topper so this is the rare beauty um powder blush in truth this is the most beautiful topper you will ever use in your entire life i when you swatch it in the store it may look light on your hand but move around and put the flashlight on your hand you're gonna fall in love i promise you just like so Okay, and then I'm going to take um, Fenty Beauties, what is this, um, how many carats, that highlighter, and I'm just going to run it um, over my lid. Super pretty. I don't know if y'all can see that. Go in with... Um, my Maybelline Lasting Fix. Period. This is my girl. I'm going with her first, and then I'm, I need to do. I need to remember to do my bottom lash mascara. That's what we're giving right now. I'm going to fix my hair and come back and show y'all the finished look.